20 gallon tank, no heater, no problem. Here is my seven favorite fish to use in a 20 gallon tank with no heater. Hey everybody, it's Susie Q and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey. Welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. My name's Susie and today we're going to be talking about 20 gallon tanks that don't have heaters. There's so many options and I would love to hear what your option is, but let me tell you what my top seven picks for this tank would be. Let me start with number seven. Number seven is the Cherry Barb. They stay nice and small, very peaceful fish, very colorful. The males are a lot more red, a lot more ch -ch -ch cherry than the females. So they like to school together, so I would get at least six of them for a 20-gallon tank. So out of those six, only one, maybe two should be a male. But you're going to want to keep a ratio of one to two, one to three, the smaller number being males in your 20-gallon tank. They live to be five or six years old. They're kind of mid-level swimmers. They're like planted tank, and they'll be fine without a heater in room temperature like this. They're egg scatterers, so you're going to want lots of plants. Cherry barbs, number seven. My number six fish is a bottom dweller, panda quarry cats. They are absolutely adorable. They only get to about maybe two inches. Pa panda quarries are from South America, and they can live up to 10 years. And you can breed them. You're going to want lots of plants in there. Yeah, you're gonna, I would want to add sand or gravel to the bottom and lots of plants. They're schooling fish, so I, wouldn't, I would only get anywhere between 8 and 10. I wouldn't get less than that. And if you wanted to do a black water tank, they would work in that as well. So that is my number 6 pick, Panda Cory Cats. My number 5 pick, Zebra Danios. These guys are so adorable. They're quick. They're top level swimmers. They don't ever stop swimming. I don't think I've ever seen them sleep. They swim so much. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> and they can live up to five years. Here's a fun fact. If they find a mate, they're probably going to mate for life. So if that mate passes, they probably won't mate up again. I'm not sure if you already knew that about the zebra danio. Very hardy fish too. Now they can get up to about two inches and they're going to be one of your top level swimmers. That's my number five pick, Zebra Danios. My number four pick, White Cloud Mountain Minnows. Absolutely beautiful, I'll get up to one inch. They are very colorful. When they're babies, they have a little different color, like with a nice, beautiful neon blue line through them. They're egg scatterers, they can live up to five years. They get up to about an inch and a half. The White Cloud Mountain Minnows. And there's several varieties. You can get the long fin, you can get the white. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I love watching them. My number three pick, CPDs or Galaxy Rasbora. The CPD stands for Celestial Pearl Danios. And these are tiny, very colorful fish, kind of on the shy side. They're not gonna get up to maybe an inch. A little timid though. So I have lots of plants. I would get anywhere between 10 and 15 and try to stick with mostly females. Males get a little bossy, a little, they get a little aggressive around mating time. Now they can live between three and five years and get up to an inch. Very nice fish to have in a tank without a heater. That would be my number three pick, white cloud mountain minnows. My number two pick, I've kind of combined a few. Platy, Variatus, Swordtail, any one of those three. Genus is Cyphorphorus. Did I say it right? I know it begins with an X. Cyphorphorus. We'll just call it Cyphorphorus. <laughs> the species of Swordtail is Hellerae, Maculatus, and Variatus. They can interbreed, and more than likely, if you're getting your um, platys, at a, a big fish store, more than likely, unless you know where you're, you know the breeder, your platys are probably some form of a hybrid. 
but almost all the hybrids come from those three species and any one of them would be good. Now the sword tails might get a little larger than the platies, but the, one of my favorite platies is the blue Mickey Mouse platy. That and the Dalmatian red tail platy. Those are two of the platies that I have bred outdoors. Very fun to breed. Be careful, they will breed with each other. So if you put sword tails and platies and variatus, they could breed with each other. Maybe one male to three females and pretty soon you'll have a whole lot of babies. That would be my number two pick for this 20 gallon without a heater. My number one pick for 20 gallon unheated tank is the Paradise Fish. It's a Paradise Garami. Absolutely gorgeous fish, blue and orange, whether it's blue and orange striped, orange and blue striped, it's beautiful. Has a labyrinth, can breathe, bubble nester, one of the first fish in our hobby, and they breed very nicely. a catch though. I was going to have a male and a female in here. I'd have to watch to make sure that they were getting along and as soon as they're done breeding I would remove the female. And I would let the male take care of the bubble nest and all those eggs. Once they start turning to free swim and fry I would get rid of the male, well not get rid of, rehome the male to another tank. I would remove the male from this tank and leave the fry in here. That's my number one pick for this unheated tank. Now, you can take bits and pieces of all these and make a community tank, but just keep in mind, for those fish that like schooling, like the panda quarries that you would get six, if you got six of them, now you might only want one or two platies. Or if you got the cherry barbs, you wouldn't want to get the cherry barbs, the mountain minnows, the danios, because they're all upper level swimmers. So you might want to mix up some corridors on the bottom, you might, your mid-level swimmers, your top-level swimmers, heavily planted tank, no problem. So those are my top seven pick. You can mix and match. You can do species only. There's so many options for a 20 gallon, 20 gallon unheated tank. What would you put in a 20 gallon unheated tank? I would love to hear your suggestions down in the comments. Thanks, everybody, and I will see you next time. Hey, everybody, it's Suzy Q. Hey, everybody, it's Suzy Q. Nah, nah, hey, everybody, it's Suzy Q. So come along with me. Said I'm Suzy Q.